This week, come with me and see if we can escape a local corn maze. And then I'll take you behind the scenes at a special cast member only Disney ceremony. Plus the latest theme park news and more. It's all happening right, right now. now. This week's show is brought to you by MEI Travel, our recommended travel agent for theme parks, cruises, and exotic destinations. For a free quote with no obligation, visit mei-travel.com slash attractions. Undercover Tourist is our preferred supplier of discount tickets to Disney World, Universal, and other attractions. For the best deals and planning tips, go to undercovertourist.com or find them on Facebook and Twitter. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Banks. And I'm Elisa. So what's exciting in your life? What's going on? Well, today I'm leaving for one of my best friend's weddings. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. Where's it at? Uh, St. Pete Beach. Ooh. It's actually going to be on the beach. I've never been to a beach wedding. So Pretty. I'm excited. I want to see pictures. Oh, I will. I'll send pictures. I was, uh, like, like I said last week, I went to Virginia this past weekend. Got to go experience Ripley's and Bush Gardens in Williamsburg, nice. Virginia. So it, it was really cool to get a, to see these two things I'm very familiar with here in Central Florida in a different perspective, in a different way. And it's a lot of fun. If you ever get to Virginia and go to Williamsburg, definitely check out both of these attractions, especially Busch Gardens. They got some amazing coasters there. Verbolton is so much fun. If you go to our YouTube right now, you can see the ride video from Verbolton that they produced for ColorVision. Um, and in their, their Howl Scream, uh, I'm not going to go into too much about it right now, about okay. their Howl Scream compared to ours. But if you go over to our blog sometime this week, I'll have a full review of their Howl Scream as well as a photo report from around Busch Gardens, so you can check that out. But First, let's talk about what's happening here in town with News in the Queue. First off this week, could a new Disney brochure foretell the removal of Hollywood Studios Sorcerer's Hat? Please. <laughs> <laughs> the brochure entitled Disney Four Parks of Fun is available at many hotels, rest stops, and other brochure racks around Florida. In the brochure is a map of Hollywood Studios with the hat missing from the map. Hmm. It might also be worth noticing that the Magic Kingdom map in the brochure shows the new expanded hub that is still under construction in front of the Cinderella Castle. When reached for comment, Disney officials said, we have nothing to announce at this time. Okay. I'm crossing my fingers for this one. I'm really hoping because, you know, as, mu as much as, you know, the hat looks, looks cool, but it's it's so intrusive of the theming of that area of Hollywood Studios, uh, uh, Hollywood that never was but always will be. You need to see the, the Chinese theater from Hollywood Boulevard. I agree. I didn't like the hat when it first got put there, and then I heard that it wasn't going to be permanent, so I was like, okay. But then it sort of just became the icon of Hollywood Studios, and I would be okay if it got removed. I mean, it, it, <laughs> or it is, moved. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even move it to another area of the park or, mm -hmm. or somewhere else in Walt Disney World, definitely. Don't, don't waste it. Um, you know, put it somewhere else. It could look great somewhere else. Else. Um, but yeah, like I said, it, it's worth noting that they already updated Magic Kingdom with the new hub design. So the fact that they did that, as well as yeah. go ahead and take the hmm. hat out, and you know, some people are saying that you know, it was a printing error. I highly That'd be doubt. A pretty big printing error. Especially because they can't. You can't just click and delete the hats because then there'll be a white space. A waste it would of space. involve drawing a new section of studios there. So it's, it cannot be a printing error. We'll see so, what happens. See if Disney announces anything in the near future. Now, for some more good slash bad news related to Disney, fans of the popular band Off Kilter will be happy to see them perform again at British Bonfire Night in Kissimmee. This will be the first chance to see the band since their run at Epcot ended a couple weeks ago. The event will include children's games, British Fair, a guy judging contest, a massive bonfire, and fireworks. For those who don't know, a guy is a straw stuffed doll that British kids typically make prior to a bonfire night and throw in the bonfire before setting it on fire. British Bonfire Night will be held the final night of Brit Week Visits Orlando, November 8th, and will be open to the public at $5 per person on Formosa Gardens Boulevard off of US 192 in Kissimmee. That makes me very excited because that is literally right down the street from my house. There you go, you can I walk can, there. I can, I can, I'm going to walk over to this festival. I don't even have to walk, I'll just sit, sit outside my house and watch the fireworks and, exactly. and see the glow of the fire and here off kilter. So I can just sit, I can just enjoy it from my, the comfort of my home. What a perfect night, off kilter and fireworks. <laughs> Personal I like it. concert, I love it, I love it. <laughs> I, I, I might actually go check this out. It seems like a really fun, uh, fun event. 
Absolutely. Actually, you're going to be working, Banks. We're going to have a booth there. Oh, well, oh apparently we are going to have a booth oh. there, oh. Was, according to our producer. So we will be there anyway. So okay. you'll have to come out and say hi to us. Come find us. Awesome. I love it. <laughs> Finally, if you'd like another spooky event to go to this holiday season, you're in luck. Spooky Empire's Ultimate Horror Weekend is coming back next weekend. This year, you'll be able to meet some of the cast from The Walking Dead and some of the biggest names in the horror genre, which is my favorite horror genre, by the way. Disney fans such as ourselves, we'll be able to meet Ken Page, the voice of Oogie Boogie, Ooh. Chris Sarandon, the voice of Jack Skellington, and Colin Ford, the voice of Jake from Jake and the Neverland Pirates. A film festival, tattoo festival, and costume contest will also be held in addition to the annual zombie walk. This spooky event runs from October 24th to the 26th at the Doubletree Hilton across from Universal Orlando. I've been to this every year. They, they, have, they have this main one in October and then they have the one in May, the Mayhem Convention. Right. Um, it's always been very fun to go to. Um, just be aware the parking situation at the Double Tree can get kind of bad. Um, mm, we had a problems with, problems at, May, at, at Mayhem with with parking situations. That but was with the, Once Upon a Time cast, right? Yeah, that was. Uh, but other than that, like the, the the convention itself is is so wonderful, and I love as, as a fan of the horror genre, I love meeting all these people that I, I've watched in movies, and yeah. to be able to meet some of the people from The Walking Dead, like Carol and Merle. Oh, uh, Michael I, Rooker, he was also in Guardians of the Galaxy. It, that's cool. I love that. Are you, you going to go out and see it? I want to. I want to meet the voice of Jack Skellington and Oogie Boogie. That right? makes me excited. Right? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Hello, everyone. For this week's Hidden Mickey, I'm at Under the Sea Journey of the Little Mermaid in the Magic Kingdom. In the first part of the Under the Sea song room on the ride, to the right of your ride vehicle, three oval purple corals stuck on a rock form a classic Mickey. They're just past and behind the singing chorus line of fish that are standing on their tails. It's a cool hidden Mickey. Check it out. When hurricanes and severe weather threaten Florida, call 511, the Florida Department of Transportation's toll-free traffic information system. In the event of an evacuation or other emergency, 511 provides information on congestion, toll suspensions, and road closures. Visit fl511.com and click on the Emergency Info tab for major updates. Also, 511 offers real-time updates via FL511 Twitter feeds and a free mobile app. Buckle up, drive safely, and check 511. Okay, this might sound corny, but early this week I headed out to Long and Scott Farms Maze Maze. Don't you mean corn maze? That's what I said. Don't you know that maze is an Indian word for corn? Oh, I get it. Was it fun? Well, after I found a few kernels of evidence on how to get out, it was a maze. Okay, can you stop with all the corn maze puns? I don't know what you're talking about. Let's pop on over and see what this is all about. Huh? Hey, are you stalking me? Ah! Alright, so Hank, Scott's Maze Adventures, how long has this been around? This will be our 13th year of uh, doing the corn maze. And how, how do you make a corn maze? Is it you grow it all or do you, you cut it out or how's, how's that work? Well, in the, you know, in the past, everybody thought that somebody came down from the sky and all of a sudden it appeared the next day, but that's not really how it works. We, uh, we do plant the corn uh, very thick out there, field corn, because it grows very tall. Um, plant it both ways, north, south, um, to get it thick as we can. And then we hire a young man out of our uh, maze franchise that we do out of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Maze Quest is called, and he comes down with a GPS. I put him on a lawnmower and in about three hours he mows our design out of it. And then it takes me about another day, day and a half to go behind with a rototiller and a little tractor and clean it up, make it look good. That, 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 is, that is great. How, how long of a preparation does it take to get the maze going? Well, we plant it in um, uh, early August and then we'll cut it out when it's about three or four inches high, about two or three weeks later. And then we just let it grow and, and usually we plant it to where it's about six to eight feet tall when we open the maze on 1st of October. And typically how long does it take for someone to go through the maze? Well the big maze is uh, six and a half acres mm -hmm. and the mini maze is a half acre so you can get through that half acre maze in probably 20-30 minutes. The big maze is a little tougher, takes a little longer and it, we got a worksheet with a lot of very educational questions about our theme that year and uh, it can take you 
two to three hours to go through there if you get everything on that worksheet, which is exciting to do. A lot of people are determined to make sure they fill it out perfectly. Uh, a lot of the school groups we put there, put through there, they actually get extra credit for, uh, for their worksheet because it is so educational. That's great. And if, uh, if our viewers want to come out and, and experience this, where are you located and where are the hours? We are at, um, we're, we're west of Zellwood, south of Mount Dora. The actual address is 26216 County Road 448A, Mount Dora. And uh, we're open from Tuesday through Friday. We do school groups. And of course, you, you uh, re reserve a spot with my sister, Rebecca. And then on the weekends, we're open to the, uh, to the public. And it's 10 to 5 on Saturdays and it's one to five on Sundays. And we also do groups on Saturdays and Sundays, but everybody else comes also. Now, it's not just a, a corn maze that's out here at uh, Scott's Maze Adventures. They also have little uh, mini maze. They have a rock maze. And right behind me here is a rope maze. And they've got it to where you can time yourself. And depending on how long it takes you to go through is your, uh, your title. So I'm thinking I'm probably a fish fodder. All right, so here we are at the entrance to the maze. Seven acres of uh, pathways to go through this corn maze here. Now, I've got a flag with me. In case I get lost, I just hold it up and wave it around, and uh, the maze master will yell, yell, yell at me and, and help me out to figure my way out, or they may send someone in there to find me. Who knows? Let's see what happens. I'm ready to get lost. Hopefully there's no smoke monsters like that for show lost. Um, already have to make a decision, right or left, so I'm going to say my sense of direction is always right, so I'm going to go right. Ah, here we go. Fork in the road. Um, let's pull the GPS here. I'm not here. No, no, not cheating. Put that away. Ah, all right, let's go this way. Build of dreams. You build it, they will come and get lost. Uh, oh. Looks like this way, uh, one of the corn hedges got gross. Oh, we'll go this way. Maybe that's a sign. Anyone ever seen that movie, Children of the Corn? Yeah. You know, for some reason, being in a corn maze, you really get a craving for, for steak. I don't know why. There should be forks in this maze. I need, why can't it just be one singular path? Um, I guess it wouldn't be a maze then, would it? Uh, this way. All right, here's a tip. I've, I've found that when you're going through here, you get to a fork in the road and you feel like that turning on that fork would take you back to somewhere you've already been, don't go that way. Go uh, a pathway that you haven't been to yet, uh, or a direction you haven't been to yet. I'm feeling this is helping me out. Oh, green. Uh, green. Well, yeah. Uh, green uh, and yellow. But yellow, I think, also went to the bridge, but I think green did too. Uh, is it getting hot in here? I think so. Another tip if you're with a group, Make sure you stay together because it is very easy to get separated. And uh, also pay attention where you're going because we just walked in a circle. All right, we're going back this way. Okay. All right, my plan is to find any paths that are heading this way and try to get back to that bridge. Oh, look at this bridge. Here we are. Where's the view of the maze here? Uh, oh, hey, man. Um, so I'm guessing the bridge here means you're at the end. You're getting this oversee the whole thing, what you just went through, right? Oh, uh, you're only halfway, man. You uh, still got a long way to go to the exit. Just sit down there. Oh. How do I get back in blue? Um, oh, hey, this is great. All right, this thing is a maze vision. On the back of the uh, pamphlet here, so uh, it's a map of the maze, but it's hidden by these red dots. So you gotta do, this is number one, so slide it in. And, oh look, there's the map. Okay, so we're at number one, we're right here. So we are almost, 
almost to the exit. We are almost to the exit. Or, or, no, we're back almost to the entrance. I don't know where I am anymore. Let's just go. <sighs> okay, so we just saw that station with the red. You can look at the map. Well, there's a there's a, another way you can do that and check the map here is that they sell these special glasses like this right here so that you can wear them and then take a look. Oh, look, there's the map. I'm somewhere around here. Um, I don't know how I got back in blue, but I'm suspiciously lost, so. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. thought I'd never see this sign. All right, made it through. Uh, well, that is certainly an adventure, like they say, Scott's Maze Adventures. Over here near Mount Dora, it's just about an hour away from Orlando, so if you're in town around this time of the year, want a really awesome maze adventure, come on out here and enjoy this. Uh, just take a few hours to uh, get through, because it's going to take that many hours. Now uh, I'm going to take a photo of my... Uh, oh no. I think I dropped my phone in there. <laughs> the next time you plan a Disney vacation, book with a travel agency that's been specifically designated as an authorized Disney vacation planner. Unlike some other agencies, many of our agents' exclusive knowledge of Walt Disney World can help you get the most out of your vacation, and the assistance of our travel professionals can help you get a customized Disney vacation that's just right for you, your family, and your budget. Start planning your magical vacation today by visiting mousefantravel.com. You may not realize, but every couple of years, Disney promotes two of their cast members to represent all of Walt Disney World. They are named the official Disney Ambassadors. Come with me to the special cast member only ceremony to find out more about the program and who will represent Disney next. So Nancy, how did the Ambassador program get started here? Well, you may know that Disneyland opened in 1955, and as they were approaching the 10-year anniversary, Walt Disney himself was getting so many requests for appearances as people wanted to note you know, the big um, anniversary. So he came up with the idea that he needed someone to help him. So he came up with the idea of a Disneyland ambassador. And the first ambassador was named in 1965. And it's been a tradition we've carried on at every park we've opened around the world uh, for the last 50 years. Ladies and gentlemen, the Walt Disney World ambassadors from 1971 to the present day. Thank you to Meg Crofton. On October 12, 2012, you changed our lives by announcing us on this stage. You gave me a brother in time when you did. We joke all the time that you're like Woody and I'm like Buzz from Toy Story. <laughs> but one thing is certain, you got a friend in me. Early in 1970, I was working as a Disney girl. It was a whirlwind of activity, talking to mayors, governors, radio, TV, I'm pretty sure that if you lived east of Mississippi, I probably spoke to you about Walt Disney World. <laughs> now I realize that 2001, 2002 doesn't sound like it was all that long ago, but consider this. To communicate back and forth, we didn't use cell phones. We had these two-way pagers that were sort of like a Paleolithic Twitter. This morning, we select the two cast members to whom we will entrust 50 years of Disney tradition, five decades of excellence, and a half a century of service to our cast and guests. And what is the interview process like to become an ambassador at Disney? It's a long interview process. It lasts almost three months. So we send out the invitation to all of our cast members. There's a few requirements. You have to be 18, you have to be certain requirements, and have a really great record. From there, um, almost 150 people applied. And from there, we do interviews. We talk to them about the program, let them know all what it would be, and narrow it down to 10 semi-finalists, who then go through a very intensive process, from mock media interviews, to writing samples, to giving presentations, and meeting lots of interviews. Narrow it down to five, which is even harder, and then the final five are interviewed by a panel that, of course, includes our Walt Disney World president, George Caligaritis. 
And I'll tell you, I was there in that last interview process, and getting from five to two, I thought we were never going to get out of the room. Such outstanding people. But in the end, what we're really looking for is the person who authentically is, that their essence is the ambassador. Because you can't pretend for two years. You have to be the ambassador in your heart. The first name I would like to announce is from Disney's Hollywood Studios costume me. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I know it's a very emotional day. How did you feel when your name got called this morning? I don't think I believed it at first, and I was so overwhelmed. Actually, my first thought, honestly, was I have to hit my mark. And I think from there, it just it felt unbelievable. I, there are so many amazing people that work here, and I can't believe. I'm just so honored that they chose me to be a part of this team. So I'm excited moving forward. It's hard to explain, you know, if there were just so many emotions mixed up, this built up participation from months of work. Uh, but I will have to say proud, um, you know, legacy, because we're continuing this legacy, humbled, you know, to see all the cast members standing, you know, in front of me, supporting me, and my family there is just so humbling. And it's just a, a huge honor and privilege to, to be able to trust this huge power. So what are you most looking forward to on your new journey? Um, I think I'm really most excited to meet the cast members. Uh, 70,000 people that come choose to come to Walt Disney World to work. I mean, there's going to be some amazing stories out there. So I can't wait to hear uh, where all of the, them have come from and all of their journeys. Definitely being there with my cast, you know, being there sharing those dreams that they all have, sharing the legacy, sharing the reason why they're here and, and thank them for everything that they do because none of these would have been possible without them. May I please present our 2015-16 ambassador team Kaylin Busker, Nathaniel Palma. Picture this, you drive to a theme park, park your car in the huge parking lot, buy your ticket, go into the park and after a fabulous day, you go out to the parking lot only to realize you didn't check where you parked. It happens to the best of us, but you can get help. For one, you can ask a security guard for help. For example, in some parking lots such as Disney's, there are security watchtowers around where you can go to ask them for help finding your car. The security guards or parking attendants can tell you where you most likely parked based on what time you arrived. In other lots, such as Universal's, there are buttons to push on posts for help finding your car. And if all else fails, there's always the car alarm button on your keys. Of course, all of this can be prevented by remembering to write down or take a photo of your parking row and section of where you parked. Skip the lines with undercover tourists, crowd calendars, touring plans, and mobile apps. Stop paying full price for your family vacation and visit Undercover Tours today. So Banks, we're shaking it up a little bit for giveaway, right? Exactly. Normally we would have the giveaway at this point, and actually last week's winner, the name is right here. So congratulations to whoever this is right here on winning last week's giveaway. What we're doing now, shaking it up, now I got that song in my head, thanks a lot. Shake it up, uh, <laughs> shake it up. We have to pay rights. All right, um, what we're doing now is instead of doing it weekly, we are figure we're going to do it a little bit more infrequently. Just every so often we'll have the giveaway, which will allow us to get an even bigger prize mm -hmm. every time we do the giveaway. So it won't be like some sort of pin set or something. It'll be huge. It'll be big. So you'll definitely want to tune in 
the weeks that we have a giveaway and definitely enter in when we do. Mm. But one thing that's not going away is our calendar and it is time to find out about all the special events coming up in the next week here in Central Florida. My favorite, the Epcot Food and Wine Festival continues this week with Eat to the Beat concerts by Billy Ocean tonight, Night Ranger the 17th through the 19th and Smash Mouth on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Halloween Horror Nights is tonight through Sunday night and then again next Wednesday through Sunday. Brick or Treat at Legoland and SeaWorld Spectacular continues this Saturday and Sunday. Uh, of course, Hallow Scream continues tonight through Sunday. And Mickey's Not So Scary returns tonight, tomorrow, Sunday, and Tuesday. And Old Town Halloween has its second weekend tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday nights. Power Rangers Super Mega Force weekend starts tomorrow and finishes its first weekend on Sunday. And finally, Bachtoberfest will be held at Bach Tower Gardens this Saturday. Remember, you can subscribe to our calendar at attractionsmagazine.com to stay up to date on all of these events and more. I highly suggest it. Lots of going on this time of year. With that, we want to thank MEI Travel. Let them plan your next trip, whether by land or sea. For a free quote without obligation, visit mei-travel.com slash attractions. We are also thankful to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando and California attractions. For more information, visit undercovertourist.com. Remember, you can watch a brand new episode of the show each week on iTunes, YouTube, Bright House Channel 999, our website, and on Roku and Amazon Fire through the O-Town app. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter right down here. Also, don't forget there's attractionsmagazine.com for news and videos throughout the week. And of course, the magazine too. Our fall issue highlighting the birth of a brand new theme park is available through our website, in our app, or on the Nook. Mm -hmm. All right, so you got your wedding you're going to this week. Mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking I'm going to be going out to Magic Kingdom sometime this week because I'm hearing rumors. Uh, we, we all know that Move It, Shake It, Celebrate is changing to a new version. Move It, Shake It, Dance It, Play It. Play it. I believe that's the name of the new one. Um, I'm hearing rumors that within the next couple of weeks, that's going to change is going to happen. So I'm going to go out and get some video of the uh, the original, the old version before it goes away. Put it up on our YouTube. Nice. And uh, excited to see the new version. Me too, All for right. sure. Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you'll tune in again next week when we visit the Power Rangers at Nick Hotel. Also, Doc's going to come back from Face Off. He's going to be back here to talk about some last-minute Halloween makeup ideas. Ooh. I think I think we may be turning you into something. Like a, mm. hmm, can I guess? Like a, what, what does, do, do they cackle or boo or... I think there's a cackling Arr. involved. I think there's cackling involved. I don't know. Oh, hmm. Well, until then, be sure to visit your local attractions, try something new, and stay safe. But... Most of all, have, have fun. fun. This is a maze I can get lost in. Oh. <laughs> and I'm Melissa. So what go on? What 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 go on? What go on? What go on this what weekend? What go on this weekend? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> that that laugh. Earlier this week, I headed out to Long and Scott Farms m m m m m maze maze. maze. <laughs> of course. All of this can be prevented by remembering to write down or take a photo of the row that you park and your car. <laughs> it was so close! <laughs>